Hello, dear ones, and it's so wonderful to see you today. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And today we're going to speak about healing practices, healing practices in general, and what, what they are. Okay, so when we're looking at healing practices, very often people think that healing practices like going to the doctor. You go to the doctor once and you take your medication and then you're better and you don't think about it again. However, when we're healing ourselves and we're learning to love ourselves unconditionally, we are actually using these healing practices in order to put into place good habits so that we are creating the change that we need to affect within ourselves. And what are these things? So yes, I can give you as many exercises as there are out there. And of course, I'm gonna to continue to give you little exercises, but the exercises are normally there to uncover your stuff, to bring them out into the open, like we dealt with shadow work last week, to bring them out of the cupboard into the light and to actually deal with what they are and why they're there and where they came from. And when we understand them better, we understand ourselves better and then we are better able to love ourselves unconditionally because we realize that certain things are just who we are and we're able to completely accept them exactly as they are and other things that we perhaps do not like about ourselves those things that we want to change now very often you will find yourself becoming irritable with somebody else because you find that those things are mirrored back at you so when you're irritated by somebody else try and look at what they're reflecting. What are they mirroring back at you? And those things are the exercises in your life. And when we are aware of our thoughts and our emotions and our feelings all of the time, and we're understanding that perhaps that thought that came into our mind was perhaps our shadow self, wanting attention or wanting love or wanting reassurance, we realize what we need to do on a daily basis in order to make sure that we are loving ourselves unconditionally. So let's look at certain things. I know I've mentioned a lot of these before in bits and pieces over videos throughout um, the video's lifetime, but let's look at what your day looks like and every single day what it looks like. So when we're looking at good habits of loving ourselves, we create or we break a habit within 40 days but you need to commit to those 40 days consecutively. And if you miss out a couple of days, unfortunately that habit is not set in your neuro-linguistic pathway yet. So unfortunately it has to start again from scratch. Now, when we look at 40 days, it's only a month and two days really that we have to continue this before we actually find that the habit is created. So stick with it. This is about committing to yourself and to your own healing and to your self-love unconditionally and surely out of all of your lifetime and how many days out of a year surely you can commit to doing one thing that's good for you every single day especially if you're wanting to affect change within your life if we do not have that follow through like I said in the video yesterday if we're not following through yes put your best foot forward always but the follow through with the next step creates the movement <laughs> because you can put your foot forward and you'll stay there stuck. <laughs> Anybody can put their foot forward into quicksand and not actually move ever again. And that perpetuates the trying, isn't it? Oh, but I tried. <laughs> trying just creates more excuses. So do it. Let's do it. What do we do? Perhaps you have a bath or a shower at various various different times of the day. But whenever you do that, if you're having your shower or your bath first thing in the morning, it's already a good practice. It's happening every day. So tack something onto that because you already have something into place. You don't have to have the big business of effort and trying to create, trying once again to create this good practice. Okay, so do it after you get out of your shower every single morning you have the opportunity to show your body and your mind and your spirit how much you love yourself and it's very easy to do that by putting cream on your body okay it's a practice you can do something else but it is such an overall all-consuming thing and it doesn't take very long start wherever you start if you start from the bottom as I've mentioned before, when you start from the bottom, thank your feet for carrying you through life. 
thank your ankles and your knees for flexing and being flexible and being allowing you to walk and to move forward. Thank your thighs. Thank every part of your body as you put the cream on it, okay, and you're rubbing it in. You're showing love immediately. There is love, there's attention, there's caresses, okay? So that is your first good habit. Thank and be grateful. You already have a gratitude when you're thanking your body for all of its parts working so beautifully. And what you're also creating is you're creating this culture within your brain and within your vibration of gratitude for health. Because when you thank all of your body parts for working so perfectly for you and for your highest and greatest good, then you are automatically thanking for your full health and for your body working so perfectly. So this is the creation of that good habit. And when you start it, you need to commit to yourself and to continue it and to continue thanking. Because once you start thanking, there will be more thanking to do because more will come into you. Okay, then of course, there is um, your daily embodiments of the four agreements and the five Reiki principles. And what's so lovely about the five Reiki principles is that they always start with just for today. Because yesterday we created today and today where the power is, that's why it's called the present, because <laughs> it's a gift. Today is where the power is and today and right this very moment, we are creating tomorrow. So when you tell yourself these things, when you remind yourself of our four agreements and our five Reiki principles, you're actually embodying them by being aware of your thoughts and the way you speak to yourself. So very important because it all starts with I. And then you're reminding yourself every day, today, just for today, I'm not gonna take anything personally because what other people say to me is about their stuff. The way that they speak to me is about their stuff. It's not a reflection of me right now because I am being impeccable with my word. I am not taking anything personally. I am not making assumptions about understanding where somebody else is coming from. If I don't know, I'm going to ask the question. And if I'm not willing to ask the question, then don't make the assumption. It is what it is and as it is, that's the law of non-attachment. And then of course, doing your best. Now, obviously, if you're ill or if you've got a headache or perhaps you're feeling a little bit down today, your best might not be exactly the same as it was yesterday. But right now, what you're doing is you're doing the best that you can right now. And then when we're looking at our five Reiki principles, once again, we're taking in that just for today. Just for today, I'm not going to be angry because I know every time I'm angry, I'm giving my power away to that thing. Just for today, I'm not going to worry because I know the universe has my back. I trust it and I trust myself because my vibrations and my frequency that I'm sending out, that is creating that abundance. So I need not worry. The universe has my back. I've manifested clearly and purely the things that I need and want in my life. So I'm gonna trust the universe has my back. The attitude of gratitude, knowing that you're working on yourself every single day. Doing these little things is your daily work. It's your daily healing practice to wholeness. You are journeying towards wholeness. And to be kind to all living things, even the spiders, even the spiders. <laughs> Everything is sentient. Everything has an energy. And then, of course, another daily practice. So we're doing this every single day. Another daily practice is 15 minutes of mindfulness. Now, some people are able to meditate for 15 minutes, some people for longer, and some people have a really good daily practice. But if you don't, please don't feel any pressure to all of a sudden meditate right now. I want you to meditate. Okay. Take those 15 minutes of mindfulness. And when I say mindfulness, do something for yourself. Something that you know is going to bring you into your heart chakra, drop, drop yourself in there, and to be aware of yourself. Be aware of your thoughts. Be aware of what you're doing. Stop thinking about everything else. I mentioned yesterday, the whole Neo thing from the matrix. Stop the thoughts, stop the bullets, okay? Do a little ritual, 
and make sure everybody knows to leave you alone for that time. Surely everybody else can respect you for that amount of time. 15 minutes a day, the 24 hours, guys. Please do this for yourself. It's so important to give yourself that 15 minutes that is for you. It's your gift to yourself. And I have mentioned boundaries before. We uh, did a post on boundaries, um, I think at the end of last year. Boundaries are important and they're very healthy and they're part of your self-care routine. If you show yourself that you do this for yourself every single day, your boundaries will be respected because, oh, no, it's mom's mindfulness 15 minutes. Just leave her be for a moment. And everybody can just stay away for 15 minutes unless the house is burning down, okay? <laughs> so with that mindfulness, what do you do for those 15 minutes? Do something that has got a ritual in it. So first of all, perhaps you make yourself a cup of tea. Loose tea does tend to give you a little bit more of a ritual, but fill the kettle, put it on. Put aside a nice cup, maybe put, you know, if, if you're like me and I don't put my tea into a teapot, I put my bag in and I sit and I let it seep and I infuse my cup with the intention of love. And as you, if, if you're doing the tea leaves thing, put the tea leaves into your little tea egg, put the tea egg into your cup, or if you're going to be putting your making your tea in a teapot first you must warm there's a ritual to it you must warm the teapot first uh, swirl it out pour the water out and then put some more tea bag tea leaves or tea bags in or whatever the case may be and then go and sit somewhere that is comfortable that's your favorite spot maybe it's got a gorgeous view maybe it's in your garden maybe you're looking out into the wilderness or maybe you're looking out onto the sea Sip each and every one of those sips of tea. When I'm talking mindfulness here, I'm thinking, I'm asking you to think about what you're actually doing. Being mindful of the actions that are taking place. So what you're doing is you're taking the, the cup, you're sipping and you're feeling each and every sip of this beautiful warm liquid. And it feels like love. It feels warm and it feels cozy and it feels loving. And you're swallowing that love into you and you're swallowing it as a healing. So think of it as medicine if you want to. And you feel it going down into your stomach and you can actually feel it warming you up as well. And then you're taking another sip. And if you do that for 15 minutes and you do not invite any of those thoughts for tea that tend to be walking in and out of your house, you are going to have that mindfulness moment. And then afterwards, write things down that came to you. Sometimes your thoughts are better ordered after 15 minutes of mindfulness. And with that, of course, comes your attitude of gratitude. Because once you are mindful, you start realizing how grateful you are for everything that you have in your life. And if you're able in your journaling, because I know you all have journals, because you've got journaling questions that you've had to do for the chakras, bring out that book as well. Start writing things down. Your conversations that you're having with yourself very often are part of your shadow work in any case. So write everything down, everything that comes up, write it down. And put your gratitudes in there. Five gratitudes a day to bring you more gratitude, more things to be grateful for. And of course, if you're able to meditate, please add that in as well. There are very many meditation apps out there. Um, I will soon, soon, I'll let you know when, I'll soon be uploading some of my own um, guided journeying meditations, uh, but they will be for specific reasons. And uh, we'll see how you enjoy them as well. But for this moment in time, start and commit to yourself. Because more than anybody else in your life, you deserve your love most. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And please love yourself unconditionally, just as you are. All your fragmented parts, bring them together and allow them to work together for your highest and greatest good. Much love. Mwah.